going on YouTube? Drew to just DIY here back to y'all with another video. I know it's been a long time, but I promise y'all I got some great content right now. I'm about to go outside and fix the tie rod on the Jag, right? So for everybody out there with a the Jaguar XF, this is for y'all. Or honestly, any, any Jaguar for real, for real. I think this goes for any Jaguar for real, for real. About to go out here and check the end of the tie rod. All right, I already got it off. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go backwards, show you how to take it off, and then I'm gonna go and put it back on. So that we know what I mean, we'll be together with it. So without further ado, let's do it. All right, y'all, we out here. 39 degree weather real quick. I'm gonna show you how to do this, because I need it done. The car gotta be fixed, you feel me? So, this is my old tie rod. Snapped in the middle. Right, it snapped. It literally snapped right here. Like literally, it was just the ball, and then a little bit, a little bit of thread left from, and the tie rod that was left. But I need to do in order to go ahead and you know me to proceed to fix mine. Cause I got the I got the new tie rod. Where's the new tie rod? Let me see. I got the new tie rod right here. You know what I mean? So basically, how you would normally take off your tie rod is you would start with the outer tie rod first. The inner tie rod will already be connected into your bracket pin. You feel me? So normally you would start by taking this off. So what I'm gonna do is because I actually needed I need to take this off in order to get mine on. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this off by loosening up that bolt right there. And I wanna say that's probably a 19. I'm gonna go ahead and check to see if that's a 19. I'm gonna confirm with y'all if that's a 19 or not. But we're gonna take that off and then we're gonna go from there and I'm gonna explain along the way what y'all need to do. Hi right, YouTube back with an update i wanted to mention that i might as well go ahead and take the brake caliber off which is going to be a number eight i want to say this is a hexagon or whatever you want to call it it's a number eight goes in fits perfectly little bracket off the front holds it holds it in the place holds the caliber in the place excuse me Put the caliber in the place like that. Take that off with some pliers, some in those pliers. Then you take the caliber off, and then you get exposed to this bolt right here, which I'm about to find out what it is right now. To 22. And 22 looks feels like it fits perfectly. So let's go to 22 and see what we get. I'm gonna knock this off because I can't do it with one hand because it's cold out here. And once I get it off. I'm gonna come back, alright? Alright, YouTube. Actually a couple days went by, I had to give it uh had to give it a break. Turns out I actually have to cut my ball off. Um, I already ordered the new uh outer tie rods. I got them in the house. I'll bring them out, show y'all, you know what I mean, when it's time to put them on. Um, I already got that, I already got it though. Uh I have my angle grinder and I got an extra blade up here on my bucket I know y'all wondering what's with the hat listen I got my brake I got my brake caliber sitting on this so that it'll rest with the you know what I mean it'll, won't put no strain on the brake lines and stuff and I got it sitting on top of the bucket I know this ain't safe but I mean it's just gonna cover you know what I mean cover the, the brake holes you know what I mean hopefully the sparks will get on there when I start cutting this bad boy but I'm about to go ahead and get this cut I know it was completely unsafe, but I had to do what I had to do, and I got it done, so it worked. I'm gonna show y'all how to cut it off, honestly, but just try to get that bolt off. I'm gonna actually cut, like, right. Let me see if I can get closer to y'all. I'm gonna try to cut right there. Let me see. Let me get a focus on that thing right there. Can I get a focus on that? Yeah, right, yeah, it's probably too good. So okay. But, uh, I'm gonna try to get it right up in this area. And I'm gonna try to cut this, I'm cutting this top piece off so that this piece will just fall straight to the ground. All right, let me go ahead and get to work. I'm gonna come back once I get it done, and I'm gonna tell y'all exactly how long. It okay, YouTube. After about seven minutes of continuous cutting, we cut it off. Came out no problem. See, I got the flush. I'm gonna clean that up. You know what I mean? I'm gonna clean the underside up too. Here, that's the old control arm, and then over here, 
We got the new controller on from, uh, I want to say Sidium or Sidum. I don't know how to pronounce them. What we got here in about, I want to say a good, maybe three days, something like that. We got both of them for about, I want to say about maybe 60 bucks, something like that, maybe 55, 60 dollars. And uh, we got here just a little thing. Let me go ahead and let me take out this package. Here. YouTube, so we back. So for Jags, they go in from this way. They go in from this way, and then they screw on top. So I'm gonna forgive me for my <laughs> horrible tactics, but it works. Now that's on there. I'm gonna put y'all. I'm gonna set y'all up honestly, so y'all can see me. You know, I me mean, screw it in and stuff like that. I want to try to get that visual, so that y'all, you know, I me mean, y'all understand how it's supposed to go. And I'm going to uh, come back to y'all as soon as I get y'all set up. We're going to go ahead and get this thing done, all right? Okay, YouTube. I got that just sitting out the way. I don't have it tightened down or nothing. Because remember, we're going to have to take it back off to put on the, uh, the we got we to put it on the inner tie rod, all right? New inner tie rod. I already got my, got my inner tie rod tool adjustment on it. Let's see what we got there. One seven sixteenth of an inch. All right, y'all, so I got it on there. I got my big Bertha. Yeah, I don't need nothing big like this. I just need a half, half inch drive to go on that. I just got this because this was already out here and I have a half inch attachment on there. But what we're going to do is just tighten it up, okay? You don't need, you can follow the torque specs, but me personally, I'm just going to follow my heart because I've been doing this for over 10 years. So. All right, YouTube. So now that we got that tightened up, y'all still with me, y'all still, y'all would have this tightened up now. Still had your ball here and all that stuff. Tire rod should still be here if you're still on this, if you're still on this part. And like if you got this tightened, you should, this should still be here. What we're going to do is now we're going to go ahead and we're going to loosen that joint. Alright. Cool. Got that out of there. Grab that screw. That. Like I said, mine's broke differently, so I'm going to be honest. I don't know how many revelations I'm supposed to have, but counter rev like if you have to take them, like if you're able to take it off, like if yours didn't break or anything like that, if you're just changing yours, count your revelations, meaning count how many times turns, boom, that would be one revelation because we started at the top. So if you start at the top, it will be one full turn. That's a revelation times that comes over because that'll help you with as far as lining this up i'm going to have to go get an alignment immediately because i already know it's going to be off but like i said i'm getting new wheels you know I'm get, i got new tires and wheels and stuff like that so it's you know what i mean I, i'm, I'm going to be okay with that so i'm going to go ahead and just put mines on make sure your wheel is straight you see how my wheel's not straight right now well you know what i mean this part's not straight because this is broke still i got to make sure my, my steering wheel is straight inside the inside the car because if not, my steering wheel is just going to be, it's going to be all over the place, my steering. So what I'm going to do is, let me go ahead and get that set up. I'm going to get all that straight. I'm going to put this on. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut y'all back on once I get it on to the inner tie rod. All right. Um, oh, and don't forget, take, you're going to have to take this back off because you got to put your boot on. So honestly, I'm, I'm going too fast. Alright y'all, so I measured out from the beginning to the end of the ring. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just twirl it on, measure it out two and a half inches, and then go from there. Honestly, it's going in for the alignment tomorrow. Well, the, what y'all see this, it'll probably be done already, but we're gonna go from there, alright? So let's go ahead, let's get this tie right on, and we're just gonna spin it. 
it's going to carry weight, so I'm just going to have to spin it on. All right, YouTube. So we're back. We're getting closer to the end, to the final of the rule. I got this tightened up. I got it as straight as it's going to be until it gets to the alignment shop, honestly. I did my best. As you can, I don't know if you can see the steering wheel is straight. Both wheels are straight. This side is straight. That side is straight. I'm tightening it up. Normally, you can use a socket. I mean, that's what I was using. Um, the exact size, to be honest, I don't remember. I have a wrench out here now, so that's what I'm going to use because I'm tired of going in and out of the house. So I'm just getting this tight down until it stops tightening for me. And then if I need to go in and get the socket, because if I feel like it's not, you know what I mean, too tight, I'll just go in and get the socket. There we go. It's getting tight now. All right. Here's the final product. I'm tightening down here, tightening down there, tightening down in there. Stay a little straight. Stay a little straight. Only thing left to do now. Throw the brake caliber back on with the brake pad. Don't worry. I know this shit looks a mess. I have new brake sets coming in. I'm going to make a video on that too, so stay tuned for that. Like, subscribe, comment, all that, man. Go follow me on uh, Instagram, at JordanJustDIY. I update daily there. You can see updates on the box and all that stuff. But I do have a box Chevy up at the shop. I got more work to do. Uh, we got to go get the tires put on. Well, we got to get new tires put on. We're just going to put the wheel on for now to see if it works. Uh, we got to get new tires. Uh, I got two new wheels. So we're going to get them painted on new tent. Uh, we're definitely going to, we're going to excess, excuse me, excess all the bumpers front and back because I do got a, uh, on the other side, I came off this bumper uh, clips. So I got to put the clips back on, excess that damage. I mean, that's all, and mind you, this is all from a toe. Go back to my other video where I broke when I when I uh, broke my Jaguar XF. This is all from a toe. Like my inner tie rod got broke off of a toe. Like only thing I should have, only problem I should have had was in the back. And I had just a problem with getting a new wheel and a tire. Cause I had hit a pothole and I bent the rim and I bent the wheel. That's what I ended up having to worry about all of this extra shit just off of just off getting it towed home. So honestly, it's all good. It is what it is, but Without further ado, let me go ahead and just throw this brake caliber back on, put this wheel on. I'll come back and close up with y'all, and we'll go forth and go on. What's going on, y'all? Jordan just DIY here. Sorry I didn't necessarily finish the video like I was supposed to, you know, close it up with y'all. But uh, update on the jack. It does still need a wheel alignment. Uh, I have to bleed the brakes. There's going to be a couple other things coming, so it's going to be some more videos and more content coming. So stay tuned to give you all a proper ending to the video because that's actually how the video ended. I'm going to try to come up with better content and I'm going to try to, you know, get better experience with us uh, and us growing this channel. So I want to thank you for honestly just believing in the video and believing and, and trusting me and helping you, you know, work with your projects or if you're just here for the entertainment, I appreciate you letting me entertain you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, get to y'all with the next tutorial or next video that I got for y'all. Uh, this is Jordan just DIY. I'm out. Holla at you.